Hello everybody. We didn't vlog yesterday because it was just a rainy day and we didn't do anything or go anywhere, but now it is um, Monday and now it's cold. It's, according to that, it looks like it's like 48 degrees. So, brr. But that's what happens when it rains in Michigan until like July and August when it's so hot that you want the relief but when it rains, it doesn't cool off at all. And Don went to the doctor this morning and now he's home and he's just uh, picking up brush. Smokey wants to help. He just went for a normal checkup and a uh, prescription refill, so there's nothing wrong with him. He's fine. Say hi. Hi. You having fun? Oh yeah. Well, at least the yard looks better now without that great big gigantic tree laying there. Yeah. So what are, you, what are you gonna do with all that brush? Uh, we'll eventually burn it off over the summer. Okay. Yeah, cause he's got quite the brush mountain going on over there next to that old swing. So today we've been cleaning, dusting and vacuuming and things like that. Right? Yep. And I have these off so I can use the magic eraser on them. And I just finished this one. And it took like a half an hour, but it looks really nice. And then I still have these gross things to go. That's well, not dirty there. This one was all brown underneath. That's good to see they're clean underneath, but they sure aren't clean on the top. It's a big difference between this and these. So these ones are not done yet, but I got the tops clean. But I still have these other... A little bit left. The really hard part is trying to get this stuff out of here. And my fingers are already really sore, but that's all right. It's worth it because dirtiness is gross. And in the meantime, I did this and I finished the cupboard doors and everything. And that and that. And then I, out of curiosity, I started cleaning on that. So now I'm going to have to get the chair and go all the way over here and get rid of all that wood stove smoke and cigarette smoke from a long time ago because that sure doesn't look right. But now this matches with this one over here, but I still have to do the cupboard doors over here. But I'm getting there and I should have bought more magic erasers because this is the third one. I ripped it taking it out of the package. But I only have one more left after this. That's the thing about magic erasers is that they work wonders, but they dissolve really quick. And I'm starting dinner, which is going to be baked chicken with this on it. And then I'm going to make instant rice in this. And we'll have a vegetable. And Smokey's doing nothing. Right? Nothing? Yeah. Are you going to get up and do something now? And Tug's still watching his Chasing Monsters show. Did I say that Tug was watching it? Yeah. Yeah. Don is watching the show, and Tug is sleeping on the floor. And I don't know where Gizzard is. Have you been smoking some of that wacky tobacco? Yeah, I guess so, since I just called you the dog. <laughs> Actually, I lied. I do know where Gizzard is. In his favorite place. Right? Tired kitty. And it's been raining all day, not pouring, but like drizzling and miserable. So everybody's in the house sleeping because it's so crappy outside. Right, Gizzard? Yeah. And all, all yesterday, Don boiled down all the chicken skin that he's been saving from those 10 pound bags of chicken that we buy. And he put the broth in the refrigerator and now he's going to get the grease off the top. Yuck. Yep. It's like a giant it. candle. Ugh. Yep. I had to put it in the fridge to get all the grease up to the top. Yuck. Let it separate. You need to sit here and you start scraping it off. Yuck. It'll be a lot healthier when that's gone. And anyway, 
he is going to can all the broth. No, you don't want that gross chicken grease. That'll make you throw up. That'll make anybody throw up. Ugh. See, it's all on top and everything underneath is all good. You yeah, and that's why you should not eat chicken skin. Because look how greasy it is. That's where all the fat is, is in the skin. I haven't eaten chicken skin since before February 2014. Yuck. There, that took all afternoon and was kind of a pain in the ass. But they are absolutely spotless now. But I'm never going to let them get like that again. Even if I have to pull them off every day and wash them right along with the dishes. I'm never going to let that happen again. And they were gross like that when Don got the stove and he didn't clean them. So it's the first time they've been cleaned. And dinner is done too barbecued chicken and instant rice with beef broth and green beans and we both have the same thing so dinner was good and I did the dishes and started some laundry and now Don is getting ready to start canning his broth which he brought it over to me and asked me if I wanted some jello because <laughs> it's still cold we turned it upside down in this pan geez but this is all his stuff here and his jars and all that so, he'll get started on that, right? Yeah. Um, I'm estimating we'll get six, maybe seven pint jars out of it. Okay. We'll get a four and a half quart pail, and there was about a quart missing out of it, so. Yeah. That's why about three and a half quarts there. Huh. Give or take. Yeah. Yeah, just got to warm it up to let it liquefy. Yeah, because right now it's like a jello mold. Yep. <laughs> Jeez. So Don's uh, broth is all canned. He canned it all at once in this big canner. All his chicken broth. Trying not to steam up the camera. Yep, that's what that tool is for, so you don't burn yourself. Yeah. How many are in there? Um, one, two, three, four, five, seven. So we're one one of these jars away from having one gallon's worth of broth. Chicken broth. Yeah, chicken broth. Yep. So one of these is two cups. All right. Well, that's cool. We don't have to go to the store and buy any chicken broth for quinoa and rice or anything else, right? For quite a while. Right. So at least you know when we have one of the jars, you got two cups. Yeah, which is the same amount that's in a store-bought can. Yeah. So that means that each one of these jars has 10 calories in it. Because that's what the store-bought cans have. Yeah, right Ten calories can. all total. Because he took all the grease away. Yeah. So it's not fattening. No. It's really low, low fat content. So. Yeah. And I wanted to show you that I cleaned more. I cleaned this and I cleaned around all these. I had to take a knife to clean this stuff here. And all along here. And Now my hands are sore and my arms are sore my shoulders are sore but damn it all it's clean <laughs> right yeah I'm laughing at you yeah that took half the day it was tons of work yeah yeah so I just got out of the shower and I'm in these goofy pink pajamas that Don's sister gave me but they're comfortable so I guess it'll work not my style but oh well I don't have any other pajamas right now and uh, the sun did come out. I don't know if it's supposed to rain anymore tomorrow or not. He just dumped all the water out of the canner. But anyway, I don't know what our plans are for tomorrow. Probably the same old thing. A big old nothing. But we're going to say good night and we hope you enjoyed the video and that you like, subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night. Say good night. Good morning. And we'll see you next time.